We enjoy partnering with Habitat because of their mission around changing the future for families and having that safe and stable home is really kind of a building block for, for making that change. It's not about just having those four walls that you put around a family, but it's creating a financial situation that is stable, allowing kids to you know go to a school that they love. It's that free time at home, that safe time at home, having a place to come to at the end of the night and, and be with your family. Veterans especially give so much to all of us, right? We owe them, first of all. Beyond that, they have enormous emotional needs besides having physical needs. And so if there's a way we can encourage them and thank them, well, it's time we did it. <laughs> Joined the, Mar the Army in, in 2008. Um, my first duty station was Fort Campbell with 101st Airborne. And uh, we deployed to Afghanistan. Um, in 2010 uh, to support uh, the mission there, Operation Enduring Freedom. So during my tenure in, in Afghanistan, I uh, had two, two TBIs, traumatic brain injuries, and um, I was diagnosed with PTSD um, shortly thereafter, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. Coming home after Afghanistan, um, you're in control of a lot of things, and then you come back into an element that you haven't been in for a long time and you haven't been that center of the family and so you have to transition back in and it's hard to transition back in the house is is one of those base camps it's one of those safe spaces that everybody can come to and you know it's just a, it's a warm spot that um love and and healing happens and that's where the habitat really sold it for us is it helped us relieve a lot of financial stress some people are just quiet heroes and um, they're everyday heroes and they just do what's right um, when it needs to be done. Uh, in this case with the veterans they have made a commitment beyond that even and I think that um, each one of these people who makes the commitment to serve in any of the armed forces is a hero simply because they've decided that they're willing our first Christmas in the house was two months after the house was built. We, we had our first Christmas here. And um, the most special thing for me was waking up that Christmas day and my son at six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> just bouncing down the hallway. And um, it was okay. It was one of those things where that was probably the first time in a long time where I've really just I kind of did that sigh of relief that everything's going to kind of be okay. So coming back into this year, um, it was the pinch me moment as well. Like, okay, this is our second Christmas. I don't have to pack my house up. I don't have to worry about where we're going to be living in two years. When we think about our veteran population, I think about a population that to some extent has been left behind or somewhat forgotten and are not always thanked properly for the sacrifices that they have made on our behalf. And so I really respect that Sherry and her team have taken the lead in developing this Veterans Build program to do their small part in, in creating change for a couple of our servicemen and women. As a soldier, you know, you're taught to be a quiet professional. and. I cried, <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit it, but I, it was, everything was gonna be okay. And to finally feel that is what, it was, that was, you know, it's just, we fought for our marriage, we, um, we made it work. We love our children, we love each other, you know, it's just, all of it is, has culminated into this, and now forever, my kids were, they're, they're gonna have a place to call their home. Service of this type benefits everyone. You can see it on the faces of people at the dedications, and you can see it at the blessings, you can see it at the work sites, the laughs, the smiles. Happiness breeds happiness, you know. Work brings promise, and uh, I'd like to see uh, Habitat continue and uh, expand into different communities and uh, work toward the end of bettering us all. It still costs a lot of money to build a house and it just can't be generated out of thin air. Um, but if, if, you know, those 
other individuals or families or organizations or businesses out there want to make an impact, um, the Habitat for Humanity is where they want to put their, their chips in. 